Welcome to Small Fry Aquatics. I'm Jeremy, the puppet guy. So this week I thought we would take a look at the puppet side of things. I'm going to start the process of creating one of our fish puppets so you can get an idea of where we're going. But before we do that, I need to get this guy started. And, well, he's not much right now, but this is going to be kind of a caretaker. No, that's the wrong word. This is going to be my human type character on the show who will introduce the fish puppets and talk a little more about aquariums. Now, to be fair, I do pass a lot of the sewing onto my wife. So we have his hands. He'll be a live hand puppet prepared. And his skull and his mouth ready. So I'm going to pass these on real quick and we'll get to the fish puppets. with the evil look from the wife. Okay, so the fish puppets. It took me a few tries to come up with this general pattern. All my puppets come from patterns that I purchased from Project Puppet. I'll put a link in the description. This guy is actually from the Forma series, which is a foam head that I repurposed. But with a, with a black sleeve, I really like how he came out. Although, we're going to play around with some fin patterns on the future puppets. Alright, Junior, I'll let you hit that. The only real limit, I imagine, to how many puppets I can have is the voices I can create. Which, we'll have to test. However, I got a great idea from an old puppet with this fabric. I'm not going to ruin the surprise on this one. And then I've got three here and the teal may be an attempt at a female fish. I definitely need one of those. But the one I'm going to be working on will be called Axel. back on day two. Uh, my hope is to finish this guy today.
seven minutes of the other stuff. I didn't want to bore you with additional sewing. So here's the complete project. The name's Axel. Check out the new fins. The cool cat of small fry aquatics. Cool cat? Hmm. I might have some competition in this fish room.